Hey, what's going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today we're going to check it out how to do some glass animation in After Effects. Step one, I got to create a new composition. I got to go with 1080, click OK. I'm going to drag and drop a reference image into the comp. I can press the letter S to scale it down like that. And from here, we're going to make a new composition. Click on new comp here. I'm going to rename it as glass. And I'm going to make the width and height. Also, make sure to lock aspect ratio. Make sure to uncheck it. I'm going to make this 600 by 600. Click OK. Right click, click on new, select solid. Rename it as lines. I'm going to go with width. I'm going to go with 15 and click OK. I'm going to go to the effects and presets, type in gradient ramp. There you go. Drag and drop on the lines. From here, we're going to need to readjust the gradient and I'm going to select this dot. I'm going to go here, click on the right and I'm going to select the end of ramp dot and I'm going to go and click on the left and it's going to basically rearrange the gradient. Good. I also going to make the line more wider like that. I'm going to go to the effects and presets, type in motion tile, drag and drop on the lines and we're going to multiply this. So we got the output width. We're going to increase the width. I'm going to go with some around 3000. Let me scale this down. Yeah, this is pretty good. I'm also thinking to readjust the gradient a little bit. So this is on minus 2.5. I might increase the white a little more and also the dark area a little more to have more contrast. Look at that. Some like this. I'm going to click on the line layer here and press the letter P for position. I'm going to move it. Also press shift, drag it to the right until it gets all the way to the end somewhere here. Now we're going to click on the stopwatch. Make sure that you're at the beginning here and click on the stopwatch. I'm going to go all the way to the six seconds. And now I'm going to drag this line. Also press shift all the way here somewhere. So it's going to create this animation. You see, it goes pretty good. Now I'm going to go back to the composition that I created. I'm going to go back to the project. I also going to rename the composition, go to rename. I'm going to go with final comp and I'm going to drag and drop the glass right here. I'm going to right click, go to new and let's select the adjustment layer. I can drag the adjustment layer on the top. I'm going to right click, rename and I go with displacement. Right. We're going to go to the effects and presets, search for a displacement map. And we're going to drag the displacement map on the displacement. Now we're going to go up here to the one displacement and we're going to change it to glass. So we can like increase the max horizontal displacement or you can increase also the max vertical displacement. Look how good this thing looks. Poor girl looks kind of weird this way. Then I'm going to click on play, see what happens. From here, we're going to go to glass. Type into effects and preset, fast box, blur. Drag and drop it into the lines. We're going to go to blur a radius. They're going to go down to 0 0.5. I'm going to go to effects and presets. Type in scatter. Drag and drop under the fast box blur. And I'm going to increase it to 1.5. I'm going to go back and it's going to make it look a little bit more realistic looking. And this was it. Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.